Conservative radio host Mark Levin went absolutely off on a gaggle of freaks from the House Freedom Caucus last week. Uh, basically, a gaggle of freaks, uh, freaks led by Matt Gates. In case you're not familiar with what's happening right now, there's a bit of a battle within the Republican Party. You see, most Republicans want uh, Kevin McCarthy to be the House Speaker. He's done a good job lobbying for that. He's gotten some hardcore MAGA freaks on his side like Marjorie Taylor Greene, but there's a holdout of five Republicans who say, no, we're not going to do this. And because the Republicans are only going to have a four seat advantage in the house, five Republicans saying no. And uh, there's actually 10 others who are also on the fence and not exactly sold on it, by the way but five of them just saying no could make it to where the Democrats, because they also get to vote for speaker would have a majority of the votes. And then you end up with a democratic speaker in a Republican controlled house. So Mark Levin understanding this lashed out at these five knuckleheads is one of the words he used, but he started with Matt Gates. Um, <laughs> he said, how can they be so stupid? talking about the five saboteurs, as he called them, starting with Matt Gates, who on, uh, upon which he said, oh, he's enjoyable to watch on TV, very clever debater, utterly useless. He then turned his attention to Andy Biggs, another Freedom Caucus member siding with Gates, who said uh, he called him a phony conservative. Then Bob Good, Republican congressman from Virginia, he said, who is this moron? Then he went on for Ralph Norman and said, never heard of him. Then he said, Matt Rosendale was part of the gang of five saboteurs. So Rosendale got off a little easy, right? There's Matt Gates, utterly useless. Oh, I'm sorry. It was uh, Andy Biggs. And then the other guys, who, who are these people? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm in this industry and I don't know him. He's telling us. And then of course, Rosendale, like, yeah, you're one of the idiots. Too. Like you didn't even bother to say you didn't know him. That's how little is known about Rosendale. Amazing. And I love it. Republicans going after Republicans. It's a feeding frenzy, but here is a full quote too. They know they have no plan B. <laughs> they know they have no plan at all. The other conservatives in the freedom caucus and house where they have finally figured this out, but what's what, what's what these five knuckleheads they're playing right into the hands of the Democrats, right into the hands of the establishment Republicans, right into the hands of the media. Mark Levin whined. Now I gotta be honest. Mark Levin's not wrong. Well, he's wrong about them playing into the hands of the media. That's just a stupid thing. Republicans say to, you know, I, I, I guess just always attack the media. Cause you got nothing else to attack. Um, but he's right. These Republicans have literally nothing to gain from this possibly with the exception of Matt Gates. See Kevin McCarthy and Matt Gates have never been like buddy, buddy, right? They're not joined at the hip. They're not going out and hanging out in the evenings. Probably best that McCarthy doesn't hang out with Gates in the evenings, but Gates does have people that he does consider his close friends, people like Jim Jordan. And see, that's actually the person that Matt Gates wants to be the speaker of the house, because it'd be pretty awesome to have your super best friend as the person in charge of everything, the person that could give you everything that you want. So for Gates, this is personal and it's his own greed that's driving him to sabotage this Republican party. And it's hilarious to watch this unfold. And that's what, uh, Levin is trying to point out, like, stop this. You gain nothing. Well, Gates gains a lot of his buddy can get it, but his buddy can't get it. So he's just doing it for the sake of doing it. Kevin McCarthy, by the way, has already given all these concessions to the crazy nut jobs, told Marjorie Taylor green. She can basically have whatever committee she wants and she can investigate everything she wants. He's made promises to other Republicans. Oh, you want to do this investigation? You can do it. It's fine. Just, just vote for me. I want that power. I want that title. I want that gavel. So Kevin McCarthy, as I said, he's done a good job going out there and lobbying and saying, what do you want? I'll give it to you. But I guess he hasn't done that with Matt Gates. So Matt Gates is leading his gaggle of knuckleheads as Levin called them, sabotaging this whole thing that could easily lead to a Democrat holding that gavel again, which in this case would be Hakeem Jeffries and Republicans would have a majority, but they still wouldn't be in control 
and we may have Matt Gates to thank for that. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of zero dollars per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.